My name is William Harper and welcome once again to Purpose Direct to Success. I'm going to talk to you about something that should be near and dear to most of, you, most, of you, most of you guys' heart. How can I help somebody when I need help? <laughs> that's the question that's asked a lot of time when people have been in for about a week to two months. They're like saying, I can't find my backside with both hands. How can I help somebody else grow and do something that's prosperous in their life? Now, that is actually on the surface a good question, but it's an easy question to resolve. First of all, I want you to think of what I'm saying to you as bricks, okay? I'm going to give you a brick to build, uh, to build your wall. Now, if I try to give you too many bricks at one time, what happens? You get buried in the bricks, you get, matter of fact, you, the bricks might even kill you. But if I just give you one brick at a time, you can handle that. If I gave you two bricks at a time, you can possibly handle that. Well, it's the same thing you do with your team. Some people have gotten started this week and they just sponsor somebody. Uh, they'll be sponsoring somebody next week or they'll be sponsoring somebody today or something to that effect. What you do is this, and I want you to really understand this. What you have in your possession is a skill set or understanding the system. No, I don't understand the system. Well, what you do understand about the system is you need to make sure everyone is signed up and signed up tight. Well, as a matter of fact, let me even go before that. Let's talk about recruiting. A lot of people don't like to recruit. I'm one of them. So what I do is I have conversations. Now, what I can teach somebody coming in is how to have a conversation. Not a script, but how to have a conversation. So when you're, when you're actually doing recruiting, and I don't want to call it that, but when you're actually recruiting, it's purposeful. It's an, you, you have an intent behind it, not just to get them on your team, but you're, screen, you're going to take them through a screening process. Once they get started, that's when we started handing them the little bricks. And the brick is a foundation of making sure that they have all their paperwork complete. All right, all that's done, that's good. Secondly, some people like to make a list. I don't like making a list. I like telling you things that I like for you to read. What I, what I do is I try to change a mindset. And speaking of a mindset, I, I kind of tell you what I mean by that. I'm in the health and wellness industry. and I'm not trying to get you to my business, but I'm in the health and wellness industry. Most people who try my product, they'll say, and they'll say this in verbatim, let me try it out first. And if it works for me, I'll go ahead and tell somebody else about it. That seems quite reasonable. That seems logical. And it seems to have integrity <clears throat> with it. However, that is the most, number one, selfish way of doing the business. People are going, well, selfish? What do you mean? Guys, no one had to try the product out for you, for you to try it. And what I mean by that, and this is the mindset, this is one of the struggles I have with my team. The mindset is, if it works for me, it will work for you. It's not true. Or the mindset is, if it doesn't work for me, it won't work for you. That too is not true. But we have it in our minds and for some reason, I guess that's where it was taught to them a long time ago or it just makes sense. But that's not structural and logical for, for your system. Your system is to ex expose it to as many people as you can and let them make the decision if it works for them or not. Now, the example that I give with my business, let's say I had high blood pressure and my friend John had high blood pressure. I'm trying out our health and wellness product. And I'm saying, hey, if it lowers my blood pressure, I'll tell John about it. Well, while John is waiting for me to try it, John has a heart attack. John dies. All right, John doesn't die. He goes, he's in the hospital for a while. Now, don't you think John would have loved to have had the benefit to heal what I heard so he could do something for his life. So the point I'm making to you is this. What I try to overcome and what you need to overcome, if even if you're a newbie, is a mindset. People have a mindset in the way they want to do something. The first brick you give them is the way that things are done. Maybe it's making a list. Maybe it's reading books. Maybe it's listening to a tape or whatever. But that's brick one. Brick two is they have a conversation with somebody else. Maybe. And as they have the conversation, you teach them some, you give them expectations. 
hey, this person may shoot you down like a, B, like a B-52 of Indochina, or they may go with, but understand this, they don't know what you know, and they're not turning you down, they're turning the business down. So it's not personal. So take this opportunity to learn how to do what you're doing right now. At that point, when they, if or when they hear that no, they don't take it to heart. They don't take it as they're being turned down. They take it as, hey, this is my first shot, and this may happen. Again, I don't have to be successful in my business and be a superstar to pass that along, setting the foundation with expectation. Does that make sense? The third thing may very well be the actual mindset. Teach the mindset. Teach what it looks like, what it smells like, what it tastes like, what they can expect. And next time that they do something, you call them right back away. And so at some point, you develop some momentum. You give them skill sets that they can do, that they can accomplish. And then as you move forward, you try to put money in the pot. Well, there's a lot of things within this uh, blog post that you might like to see. And it may help you a great deal. But there's a lot of people out there right now that's like, hey, how can I help somebody if I can't help myself? Well, you can. Please take a look at the blog. There are some amazing things in there that you'll love and that you can use and that you can use today. Okay? Also, you can download the book about successful prospecting, which the link is in that um, blog posting as well. Guys, I love you. I want to see you successful. I want to see you productive. And I want to see you prosperous. Because you, too, can have purpose-directed success. I want you guys to take care. Come on to the site. Look on the new things that we have on the site and then look at the site. And see all the resources that you may be able to use again, not now, but right now. Take care, be blessed, and may God love you real good. Goodbye.